guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Araya Elena. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to edit using iMovie on your iPhone or your iPad. It is way different than editing on a MacBook or an Apple computer. The iMovie on iPhone and iPad has way less functions than it does on a laptop. So it is kind of challenging because you don't have all of the like necessary editing tools. So I actually am going to be showing you guys a second app that I use. It is completely free and that app helps me with adding little pop-ups on the screen. iMovie does not do that. It only adds titles and the titles do not go away. They stay the entire clip of that video so it is really annoying. With the app that I'm going to be showing you guys today, they go away, they add when you want to, they go away when you want to. It has sound effects, all that stuff. I do most of my main editing on iMovie, but I do do the little tiny things that I want after in this app. This app that I'm going to be showing you guys is called Vlow. You guys definitely need to download this. It is going to make your YouTube videos so much better. So there's a little tip for you. And now we are going to go into the video. I'm going to be sharing with you guys some information about how to start a YouTube channel as well. So that is where I'm going to start. The first thing I want to tell you guys is plan your videos. If you don't plan your videos, you're it's just gonna be a mess. It's happened to me plenty, plenty times before. You don't have to like make your video scripted. You don't have to make a script for every single word you're gonna say. Definitely don't do that. But you can like plan the title that you're going to make the video. You can plan what day you want it to be out. You can plan what type of thumbnail you want. You can plan like talking points that you want to talk about. You don't have to write down the entire like conversation that you want to have but just have a little bit of a layout the second thing i'm going to be talking to you guys about is equipment that you guys are going to need to film a video the camera that i am using right now is the canon g7x it is mostly for vlogging which is what i usually do but today i wanted to make a sit down video to kind of help you guys out with the iMovie on your iPhone or iPad. But if you do not have a Canon G7X, you don't need a crazy fancy camera. You can vlog on your iPhone. As you guys can see, I'll put the same exact video right here and the they look right basically the same. Exactly Honestly, the, same. the iPhone kind of looked better in my opinion, but you know what? Use what you have because if you want to start a channel, then freaking start it. Don't wait to buy a $800 camera. If you are really passionate about YouTube, you will make that money to be able to buy that camera for yourself. If you do have a camera though, the um, Canon G7X, I do recommend that you get a tripod. I have two. I have a huge stand-up tripod that I'm using right now to film this video. And then I also have a little tiny tripod that is like a handheld one for when I am vlogging. I just hold it like this. The camera sits right on top of it. Super easy. Now I'm going to be going into the actual editing portion of this video. The first thing that I'm going to be helping you guys out with, giving you some tips on, is how to make a thumbnail. Thumbnails are what gets people's attention, so you want a good thumbnail. Thumbnails are what is going to make your video stand out. That person scrolling down their YouTube feed is going to see your thumbnail, and if they think it's nice, like pretty, the quality is good, they are more likely to click on your video than if you have a horrible, shitty looking thumbnail. They are just going to go right past it. Okay, sorry guys, my camera died. Um, that also does remind me though, another thing that you might want to have is a second battery. Especially if you're going to be doing videos where you're going to be out all day. If you want to make like a Disneyland video, if you want to make a road trip video, it is definitely handy to have two batteries. So if one dies, you have another one. These batteries in the Canon G7X last a really long time. 
but it is good to have a second one. But back to the thumbnail. The way we are going to edit the thumbnail, you're going to need three different apps. You're going to need Canva, you are going to need Fonto, and you are going to need Airbrush. Airbrush is the first app that I am going to use. You are going to pull Airbrush up, you are going to hit gallery, you are going to click whatever picture you want to use for the thumbnail. Um, when you are making a thumbnail, make sure if you take it on your phone, your phone is facing this way. If it's facing this way, it's definitely not going to fit YouTube standards for the thumbnail. It has to be facing this way. Airbrush is going to make your photos look really, really good, bright, nice, pretty. So you are going to hit that little magic button in the corner after you have the picture that you want selected. It is going to do everything for you. It is going to take off any acne that you have on your face. It'll brighten your teeth up. It'll make your skin look nice and smooth. And then it will also brighten up the picture for you. So that is perfect. If you don't like the way that it made it brighter, or less bright, you can just hit the little filter button in the corner and you can just pick whatever filter you want to use for the picture and just hit save and you're good. Now we are going to go into the next app that I use which is Canva. Canva is super helpful because it does make the exact layout that YouTube wants for the thumbnail. You are going to go into the little search bar and you are going to type YouTube thumbnail. It's going to bring out a ton of different layouts for you to use for a thumbnail. If you want the same exact layout, which sometimes if you have like a food channel, a fitness channel, you might want the same one so people know when they see that kind of layout, they know it's your video. I usually just use the blank one. I make my own pictures. I don't... I don't know, I just don't use the layouts that it gives me. I'll just press blank, so if that's what you guys want to do too, you can just hit that button. You are going to press that little plus button in the corner, and then you are going to hit images. Then it will bring up your camera roll. You can pick the picture that you just saved from Airbrush. After that, you can scale it to however you want to fit the YouTube thumbnail layout. You can add shapes in here, you can, like I add some flowers sometimes on my thumbnails. You can add um, hearts, stars, whatever you want. That's what I use Canva for, is to just shape it and to add the little flowers on the thumbnail. You are going to save that and then our last app, we are going to go into Fonto. Fonto is where you are going to add your text. You can add the text on Canva too if you want to if you don't want to do this last part But I like to use Fonto because it makes the text curvy. I really like that kind of look So you are just going to add the image that you saved from Canva You are going to hit add text and you are going to type whatever you want to after that It'll just pop up on the picture. You can move it around You can make it curvy using the little bar tool that it shows you you can change the size you can add some shadows behind the text. You can do a ton of stuff here in Fonto. Next, I am going to be going into the actual editing portion on iMovie. The first thing I'm going to be showing you guys how to do on iMovie is how to cut into your face. See how I just zoomed in? <laughs> I know that this is really popular right now, especially when people are making funny faces or something. People love to zoom into it. It is, it just makes your video funny. It brings the like laughter into it. So if that's the kind of theme that you guys want for your videos, definitely add some of these cuts into your face. First thing you are going to do is you are going to add the videos that you want to into iMovie and then you are going to scroll and you are going to go to the part that you want cut up to your face. You are going to click on it so the whole thing turns yellow and then you are going to hit split. And once you hit split, you will go to where you want the cut to end, split that part as well and then you click on the part that you split that you want zoomed in. In the, the preview of iMovie, you are going to see a little magnifying glass up in the corner. 
click that and then use your two fingers to zoom in to how close you want it to be and then that's it. So there's the little cut for you. Next we are going to be going into how you add transitions into your video just like this one. So the first thing that you are going to do is you're going to go to where you want your video cut at. You're going to hit split and then you are going to hover over that little transition bar that it shows you. You are going to hit the little plus button and then you are going to pick whether you want to add another video or a image. Usually I would just add an image. So click that image and then you can make it however long you want it, however short you want it. I know iMovie zooms into it for you. I don't know why it does that. If you don't want it to do that, just click Ken Burn Enabled. Use your two fingers to zoom out of the picture to make the whole picture show up on the iMovie screen and then it will stay still for you. The third thing I'm going to be showing you guys how to do in iMovie is how to detach the volume, how to make the volume lower or higher. The first thing you are going to do to detach the audio, this is where you want to detach the audio when you are driving or if you want to make a montage, something like that. So if I am telling you viewers that I am on my way to my grandma's and I want to show you guys me on the way there, I will record some of the street as I am driving. I don't want the street, the loud noise in the background, so I am just going to detach the audio and put a nice song over it. The way that you are going to do that, you will click on the clip that you want to have no audio on. You will click detach and then just hit delete and then it takes away all of the sound on that video. <laughs> to make the volume higher or lower, sometimes when you're recording on your iPhone, the volume does get really low. So to make the volume really loud, you will just click on the clip that you want to lower or higher the volume on. You will click the little speaker button and then you will drag the volume. If you want it more than 100, you can go all the way up to 500% volume, which is really, really loud. I don't ever recommend you go that loud unless your video is super, super low. But there is a tip for you if your sound is super low and you want it higher. So now that you have done most of your editing on iMovie, which is really super easy since there's only like a few buttons on iMovie inside of the iPhone and iPad, it makes it really, really easy. You are going to save your video from iMovie and we are going to move it into the app Vlo. Vlo gives you two options. It is going to give you a great video option or it is going to give you a motion photo option. You want to click the great video option, click on the video that you just saved from iMovie, and then click the arrow to go ahead and go to the next step. Click on the 16 by 9 profile, click the arrow again in the corner to go to the next step even further. I like to add my Instagram whenever I am recording. I'll say follow me on Instagram, I'll add my Instagram right here. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that right now. Inside of Vlo, there is a motion sticker option at the bottom. You will click on motion sticker and then you will click on SNS. SNS will give you a ton of vlog related things that you can add into your video, which is so, so helpful. When you click on motion sticker, it'll give you two options. It'll give you template or sticker. Definitely click on sticker. Once you go into SNS, then there is a ton of different kind of vlog related stickers that you can add. I will just add the Instagram one. Then I will go into text down at the bottom where you found the motion sticker tab and you will click whatever type of text you want. It gives you the option of text, caption, or label. I usually just click text, but I think the labels are really cool if you want to use those for yourself. So after that, I type what kind of text I want. It gives you like bubble letters, it gives you regular text, just a bunch of different fonts that you can use. I'll type in my Instagram name, I'll put it right next to that sticker that I just added, and then I will go into sound effects. 
which is in the audio tab right next to motion sticker as well. When I am adding mine or Coco's Instagram, I will use the twinkle two option. When I'm adding Chris's Instagram name in, I will just use the pop-up one, just because the twinkle sounds more like girly and the pop-up just sounds like more of a like, <laughs> Another thing that I really, really like about Blow is that you can add images or videos onto another video. So that is how I am filming this entire video. I am showing you guys how I am doing all of this editing right here using Vlo because I added a video onto a video. So with Vlo, you are going to go into the PIP option down at the bottom. You're going to click on image or video, whichever one you want to add, and then it just pops the video right on to your video already. And you can scale it down, you can make it bigger, wherever you want to place it. It is so easy to do that. All you have to do is press save now. When you are saving your video from Vlo, it gives you a few options on the way you wanna save it. It gives you a option for resolution and it gives you an option for frame rate. For the frame rate, I usually go with the 30 FPS and then for the resolution, obviously I want it high. So that is how I save my videos from Vlo. Now the part that probably most of you have been waiting for is how to add music into iMovie. The way that you are going to add music into iMovie, you are going to need the app documents. I am going to put a picture of it right here so you guys know exactly which one. You are going to go to whatever app you want that you listen to your music on. Apple Music, Spotify, YouTube, whatever. You are going to pick the song that you want to add into your YouTube video and just hit share. You are going to copy the link and then you are going to go back into documents. In documents, you're going to go into the browser option on the sidebar right here. You are going to type in savefrom.net. It is going to pull up a bar that says enter the URL. You are going to paste the music that you guys just copied and then you are going to hit that arrow. Once it is saved, you are going to go into the documents folder on the sidebar where you found browser at and it is going to be right here. Here is all my music that I have saved you guys. So that is so cool. From there, you are going to click on the video that you just saved. You're going to click on the three little dots. You're going to click share, and then you are going to click copy to iMovie. It is going to take that video to iMovie. You can click on whatever movie you want it to add to. You are going to deattach the audio from the music that it just put in there. And I already told you guys how to deattach audio now. This time you are just not going to delete the audio. You're just going to deattach it. You are going to drag that music to wherever, what part you want it in your movie <laughs> or in your video. And you can cut it, you can make it louder, you can make it softer. The one problem that you guys might run into doing this is that if you delete the video of the music, it'll delete the music as well. You have to make sure that the music part where you deattach is all the way off of the video before you delete the video. So I will show you, I'm showing you guys all of it right here. So if I'm not explaining it right, make sure you are watching this part so you guys know exactly how to do it. But that is it, you guys. That is how you edit on iMovie using your iPhone or iPad in 2019. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you guys so much for watching. It would mean so much to me if you guys subscribe to my channel. I post every single Tuesday and in July I am going to be posting twice every single week because I am going on a vacation. So I'm so excited to show you guys all of that. I am going to Disneyland so make sure you guys subscribe so you guys don't miss those videos and I will see you guys next Tuesday. Love you guys!